Hi guys, and we're going to continue in our Blender tips. Um, I'm still working with this scene here that we created um, previous tutorial, which has this glass object in it, mainly because the glass is kind of nice when we're doing these rendering tutorials. It, it shows off the um, rendering options. So um, previous tutorial, we've already um, rendered and uh, modeled this um, glass and we've added in some environmental lighting. Now what I want to do though is set up some, some kind of studio lighting for this. Um, so we will go to um, create a plane. We're going to scale that down. I'm just going to jump back into solid mode for a moment. So we'll scale that plane down and then we want to position it because um, what I want to get is like a long reflection going up one um, side of the glass. So we'll rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees and then we're going to scale it. Oops, scale on the x to make it thin like so. We'll drag it over to here so it's out of the way of the camera view and then we're going to rotate it on the y sorry uh, z axis so an angle like so just going to move it up and we'll rotate it a little bit on the x so it whoops get our rotation handles yeah, I'm going to rotate it a little bit downwards so it points down slightly. Okay, now we've got that into place. Come over to our materials here and we're going to create a new material. And it's going to be an emission. Now we'll come over to our camera view. We'll go back into rendered. And you won't see much difference yet. You might see a, a slight area there, but if we increase the strength of this, you'll begin to see how that light will start to have an effect on the side of the glass there. You'll actually begin to see it reflected in the glass. You can see it here. Now if we were to move that object back, so it's straight again, move it down here, go back to our camera view, up the strength more again and you'll see now we're getting these lines down the side of the glass there as it's catching the light so that might be a little bit too strong so you can just play around with the strength settings and you can position multiple um, ones of these and you can also change the colors of the emission as well so if we were to change the the color of the light that's being emitted you'll see that you'll get a you'll, you'll get that color being reflected um, and shown in our glass there so now you can see the effect it's having when we actually change its color um, then you can change it back to white later but you could use the red just to see the effect that that specific light is having there on the glass so you can move things around until it's emitting how it how you want it to So we could move this over like so. We'll go back to our render view. Change our color back to white. So we'll just drag all these up so that they're all on one.
And now you can see the, the line of the, of the light there. So you just play around with the intensity or the strength until you get the effect it is that you want. So like I said, you can create multiple ones of these lights. You can have several of them positioned around your object to light the object and get the shadows and effects that you want. So um, one other thing I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to adjust the camera focal length a little bit so that it's zoomed in some more on our object. And I'm going to move it a little bit like so, and I'll go back to rendered, there. I may just want to go in a little bit closer on this glass. We've got too much space up there at the top, I think. So I'll move it on the y-axis closer to our object. And I'll move it on the z-axis a little bit further down. Go back to rendered. Now, now we've got a closer up kind of picture of our glass there. May want a little bit more space at the top now. We have a little too little there. Okay, that's, that's looking better. So that's how you can set up um, objects um, and studio lighting effects using Cycles Renderer here in Blender.